What's up? It's me, Karen, and today we're gonna be talking about some of my favorite Instagram stores. The last time I made a video like this, you guys really enjoyed it, and I actually really enjoy it too because I personally love supporting small branded owners. You know, everyone's just trying to make their dreams happen and produce and create whatever they really love. So I think it's always really great to support other people on the interwebs. All right, so let's begin. So the first brand I wanna talk about is Rocket.one. The trend that is really popular right now are camo in different colors, and I found this brand that does a really good job in doing camo cargo pants. They create them into like two different colors, so you have an orange side and a yellow side. I just feel like this is so edgy and it's so cool. I just love finding stores that you can't really walk into. There's something about very unique about that, that you're not wearing the same thing that someone else is wearing. Okay, now the next couple brands are either vintage or a reworked vintage. So the first one I wanna cover is called Frankie Collective. They're actually one of the larger vintage Instagram stores online and they're known for their reworked vintage. So what they do is take some really popular trendy items, maybe like Supreme or like Adidas, even the Ikea streetwear trend that was happening a while back and they create like leggings or bralettes or really cute crop tops. I think it's just a really interesting take on fashion and also upcycling so that we're not constantly consuming and just buying new shit that we shouldn't really be doing to this environment. That's why I've been really into shopping vintage and reworked vintage because it's still a new flair, but you are being environmentally friendly and you also look really poppin' because your piece is very unique. I wanna say Frankie Collective is more of a, like a streetwear for women. This is a champion bralette. It's so cute. And then this is the Ikea bra top that I was talking about a little bit earlier. And they got these heels with the Versace ankle strap, which is so unique. If you guys got the time, check out Frankie Collective. Just keep scrolling and get some ideas on how to rework your own vintage, even if you want to, or just go to like a thrift shop and rework it if you'd like. And this is a really great page for inspo and ideas. So the next shop I wanna talk about is called Shop Butterface. And they're also a online vintage store. They do worldwide shipping. Uh, and I wanna say their style is definitely still more uh, geared towards a streetwear for women. If you guys like the Hard Rock Cafe, logo and design they actually have a whole bunch of hard rock cafe vintage items that you won't be able to find anymore they have really cute jackets like um, denim jackets if you're into that they also have vintage harley davidson <laughs> tops or like tommy hilfiger vintage tops i just really love it i get inspired a lot by this page so if you guys like vintage nike definitely check this page out it's one of the smaller ones it's not as big as frankie collective but I feel like they still have a really good range of products on here. Okay, adding another vintage store to the list is called The Vintage Twin. They are pretty popular on Instagram. They have about 102,000 followers and what they do is also take vintage and rework it. They're not 100% athletic gear like Frankie Collective and Shop Butterfaces. Um, I feel like this one is more high-end reworked items. So this top looks like a soccer jersey, but it also has Gucci on it, which is really unique. And remember this, I don't know if you guys remember this jacket, my Ferrari jacket that I got in Hong Kong. And they also get like skirts like this and they rework it and add flames onto it. So I just think it's so freaking unique. Look at these jeans, it's like a Starbucks jeans. You really don't see anything like this elsewhere. These ones are the Tommy Hilfiger jeans that they put a stripe down the side of the jeans, which is a really popular trend right now. So yeah, if you guys wanna get some inspiration from this page, like they're such my vibes because they're very vintage, like retro, and also they have a lot of colors. Like look at these tees, it's literally a rainbow. It's so cute. <laughs> Now jewelry is a weak spot for me, especially earrings. And one of my favorite online brands right now on Instagram is Gogo Philip. Her designs are really unique and edgy in my opinion. I feel like they're always one step ahead of the curve and the quality that she produces is just so good. 
I'm wearing Gogo Phillips earrings right now and also the necklaces and they don't rust they stay its shape and the quality is very heavy duty look at these earrings right here they're so cute they are open pinned earrings she also has these really beautiful heavy duty round shaped earrings oh girl she got a beret on too and those earrings just look so popping on her i need those oh yeah look how cute these are these are like safety pin earrings but it has a little heart in the center that one is so cute and this one i actually have this one this one is a safety pin earring with jewels and gems off to the side oh my gosh look amrata wears her earrings too so I think Gogo Philip is kind of one of those like underground brands that not many people know about. So guys, they only have 7,884 followers. Everyone's sleeping on Gogo Philip. Like Gogo Philip is freaking awesome. So definitely go check it out. Now the next jewelry line that I really like is Dynasty. I actually met um, the owner of Dynasty while I was in Hong Kong a couple months back. And we are talking about doing a collab just because I found them on the internet on Instagram and I was like, oh my god, this shit is so cool. I have never seen anything so unique before. So Dynasty takes Chinese traditional clothing and she puts a really edgy twist to it that makes it very wearable. She does such a good job with her designs. She mixes very modern silhouettes with the Chinese culture in her jewelry. I find that really unique. You just don't see a lot of brands doing stuff like that. And she's also an independent designer. She she does everything at home. Everything just about the brand is so genuine, is so real. And people like this are just trying to bring their creativity out there in the world and share it with us. I just love the brand so much. and. I've worked with her on creating a couple designs. I've just noticed how, how much attention to detail she has with her product. I will link all of this that I'm talking about in the description box below. I'm sure you guys already know about Noon Bangkok, but if you guys don't, Noon is actually one of my really good friends that I met also via Instagram. It was actually a couple years back when I saw her items on Instagram and I was like, I need to have this in my life. To give you kind of an idea of Noon's items, once again, everything is hand sewn, no sweatshop at all. Like she hires her auntie to help out with her sewing and everything is designed by her and her husband. I love how minimalistic her designs are and how futuristic it looks as well. It's got its own aesthetic down. Some of the designs that you'll see reoccurring a lot in Noon Bangkok's theme is the use of mesh in really fun and unexpected ways. And also, now I've noticed she started using a lot of keyhole rings in her like bikinis. For Noon Bangkok's colorway, there's about four that is very prevalent. So you definitely have your whites and blacks and she does really pretty pastel pink as well as really pretty grays. Okay, now this one is called Shop Tunnel Vision and they're wacky. And what's great about this brand is that they also have plus sizes on there and it's clear that they are a very universal and inclusive brand. I love their stuff, it's very loud streetwear it's out there it definitely is more trendy if you are into the whole rose and grid and flame theme right now they've got a lot of that going on so the next one is called bowery and i actually found about bowery when i was in hong kong doing a shoot with hype bay i had a short conversation with him um through instagram dms and guys i've just been really into some of the artwork that he's printed on his tees they are really unique and out there. The quality of the t-shirts are also really, really great. So if you guys are into tees and really great graphics, definitely check out Bowery as well. Now, last but not least, I know I'm a little doing a little, little self-promotion here and there, but I am also an internet brand. Um, I've started Umo, and I know some of you guys were wondering from my last video whether or not it's sweatshop free, if it's ethical, and yes, and yes, and yes. Like, I, like being sweatshop free is such a big deal to me because um, when I was in China for two years in high school, I actually knew people that worked at factories, and their standard of living was really really poor and a lot of times they wouldn't even have enough money to go home and pay rent to live properly. I'm just 100% against sweatshops and I made sure that the vendor that we're getting our teas from are ethically made. So I just want to thank you guys so much for your support and because of that I'm able to do 
more fun th stuff in the future. If you give me some time, I definitely have really great ideas that I want to incorporate in Umo and also just bring on other talent in this sphere who love fashion and hopefully I can do collabs with them. Hopefully they can model for Umo and we can do more videos and create more content. If I were to put Umo in one phrase, it's a very, very colorful brand and we're really big on berets right now. They're sold out at the moment. We're gonna have to stock them again, but if you guys want, to check out my brand, I'll also link it in the description box below. Well, that's it from me for today. I actually have a lot more to share, but I think I'm gonna save that for a different video. If you guys have any Instagram stores that you'd love to share, please drop them in the comment section below so that I can also find new stores that way. I think it would be a really cool way for us to actually open up the comment section into a forum so that everyone can kind of share inspirations and ideas with each other. And if you guys like this video and want me to create more of these Instagram store videos, give it a thumbs up. That way I know. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and I love you. Bye!